Today, JavaScript is used to create all sorts of applications, including web, mobile, and desktop apps. JavaScript has evolved from being a programming language used for form validations and dynamic content to a full-blown programming language that is used to create mobile and desktop apps as well. When I started my journey to learn modern JavaScript, I had a tough time initially because of how JavaScript has evolved and how setting up your tooling and boilerplate for modern JavaScript development is one hell of a task. I did bang my head on various available books and tutorials and was gradually able to strike a balance. That's why I decided to create this free series of tutorials about modern JavaScript development on YouTube. So all you people out there, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, consider doing so as I would be uploading new videos in this series every week. Apart from that, I will also keep posting new videos about the most recent trends in software development. So if you're interested, it would be worth subscribing to my channel. To give you a very high level definition, JavaScript is a programming language that lets you add dynamic content to web pages. Though modern JavaScript is not restricted only to web pages, to start with things in the beginning, we would stick to the context of the web browser. So anytime you see a web browser displaying anything more than static information such as maps, content feeds, animated graphics, media players, etc., you can assume JavaScript is involved in some way or the other. JavaScript is a C-type programming language, which means its syntax is pretty similar to C and other C-type programming languages. So if you have some experience in any C-type programming language such as C, C++ or even PHP, you would feel at home. Even though the syntax is pretty similar to C-type languages, the behavior is tricky in some parts which we will discuss throughout the course. Getting started with JavaScript is pretty easy, but mastering JavaScript takes time. So we would walk through every step in this series and build projects to understand and practice the good and the bad parts of JavaScript. Now, if you are a complete beginner, as a prerequisite to this course, I would recommend that you know the basics of HTML and CSS. This will help you understand the examples and relate to the flow. You can take up any HTML CSS crash course here on YouTube and you should be good. Now, if you want to learn JavaScript to become a full stack developer using Node.js eventually, then this series will be helpful for you as well. Remember, be it Node.js or browser, the basic syntax and the principles behind JavaScript remain the same. So if you are someone who is a complete beginner, who is just starting with JavaScript or someone who has prior programming experience and wants to learn a new programming language or someone who wants to brush up your existing skills, this is the right course for you. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I post the next video to this series. That's it for this one and I will see you in the next video. Till then, peace.